right? This is the second Bernoulli's equation, more or less simple, talking about what occurs at a pipe breach. This time we'll see what happens if in fact you trade some of that pressure energy for velocity energy flowing down the pipe because something downstream has kind of opened up. So same problem as was done just previously where in fact we ended up with a Q rate of about 0 0.158 CFS. Velocity is like 75 feet per second or something like that. So here's what we have in this case that we had originally 60 PSI in that pipe. So so in here we had 60 PSI, and if you saw before, 60 PSI was this kind of static pressure because water wasn't flowing. And each of these were kind of showing as, as flowing in because there was essentially no flow. Now all of a sudden that 60 PSI, if you're assuming that there is no additional pumps or anything, in other words you had a static condition, and what happened all of a sudden is someone opened up down here flowing a flow rate Q which caused a velocity of 25 feet per second. And what you essentially then have is a trade-off of 60 PSI in just pressure to 60 PSI in pressure and velocity. Once again, knowing that your, um, knowing that your elevations are the same here. So what you had to start is you had 60 PSI, you had an initial piezometric head, I'm sorry, an initial pressure head of 60 PSI, right, which became PSF by 144 square inches over square feet. And that got you PSF, a PSF of your pressure. PSF is something like 8160. Try that again. Don't get used to always using the calculator convert program. Be able to convert square inches, pounds per square inch to pounds per square foot. 8640, and even more importantly, be able to convert 60 PSI to feet of water. So 60 PSI divided by 14.7 times 33.9 you have 138.36 feet of head. That's what you had, 138, 138.6, 0.36. Right, that's feet of head. Feet of head, which is foot pounds of energy per pound of material. That was all pressure, but now all of a sudden, V squared over 2G of it is going to be velocity. So you're going to reduce the feet of the pressure head. So V squared in this case, you can see, remember the 25 squared times 2, I'm sorry, 25 squared. divided by 2, divided by 32.2 feet per second squared, gets you somewhere in the order of 9.7, 9.7 feet of head of velocity energy. So 9.7 feet of velocity energy. So really the reduction in the flow is going to be relatively insignificant because now instead of having 138.36 pressure uh, feet of pressure head, you're going to have 138.36 less the 9.7, which has now been, basically it's being used for velocity, and so it's not available to push the water out of that hole. And so that gives you something in the order of Sorry, I'm thinking here it's 138.36 minus 9.7, and you get 128.7 feet of pressure head. 
And so now you're left once again to that equation to what you just saw before, which now you can kind of realize is square root of 2gh ish. I guess I'm going to call it ish that you have the pressure head of 128. 128, right? Point seven. And if we look here, I realize that I can now I can get my next button here. Next spacebar. Ah, oh, there it is. There's my equation. Sorry about the work on top, but we know these fall out. We know that the pressure here on the way out is zero. We know that this is going to be one plus. 0.62 times the velocity head, right? Times the velocity head. And now we know that instead of having this one is no longer zero, but we know that this one right here has become 128.7. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and erase. All right. So we had a 20, we have right now we have 128.7 in pressure head. Right? That's because of course we traded some of the 60 psi in pressure for some velocity here. We've had these crossed out, this one here and here. So we have these two together equal 100 uh, more than that, but we subtracted off that velocity head which we knew because we could determine it by some sort of flow right there. And we have 128.7 divided by 1 plus 0.62. Remember the V squared over 2G. We're solving for the velocity. We're going to multiply this by 2G. Right? So we have essentially, and take the square root. And that's going to get us our velocity. All right, so the way this worked out is 128.7 times 2 times 32.2. All that divided by 1.62. And then we take the square root. We get a velocity of 71.52. So you notice here. We don't have really that much of a drop in our uh, flow rate. And if you were good about doing that the last time, you probably would have stored the area in a variable in your calculator. And uh, you can now take that number times second alpha, second alpha times second quit. Second alpha, and you get about 0.152. So you really don't have much of a reduction, you can see, 0 0.152 CFS. Now I'll run through these quickly in a little while, just punching calculators, but realize this sense of chanting and writing not only the Bernoulli's equation, but the flow equation gets you pretty far in these. And then also starting to realize that you're essentially you are banking energy and this trading it back and forth. If there are no pumps involved, you just got a head you just got a head loss turn. So you're going to see this very often. You're not going to see, you're going to see the Bernese equation left without the head of the pump, right? I'll kind of leave that for some of you to pursue next semester um, uh, or later in this semester. That fact that you can actually add energy as well to this equation. So. That is the second equation, uh, Bernoulli, really simple Bernoulli's equation that you learn to write between a point one, right? Bernoulli's equation between point one and point two. Again, that water flowing outside. So therefore, the pressure there is zero. The pressure at discharge is zero. So that became zero. So we're trying around, just playing around. We'll recut a couple of these. Um, as we, we kind of get to a point where we start doing these in computers, 
um, but you do want to be able to chant Bernoulli's equation and start doing this kind of simplification of like letting terms drop out. I'm going to end the show, discard that, stop.